Hey guys, it's Haley. So today I'm going to be doing a one of my first um, Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I'm going to do a couple of these um, in the next couple of weeks because I have a couple ideas. Like I have like two or three more looks that I figured you guys would want to see. One of them is like the ultimate like Valentine's look, like the ones who like to overdo it. Um, it's going to be like hot pink on the outer crease and I mean outer V and all that. Um, but the next one is going to be a more smoky brownie naked, I'm going to use a naked two palette. And then there's going to be that one that's like all pink, kind of, it's going to be kind of like my halo eye, but it's going to be different. Um, or you might, there might be one or two more, maybe three more. No, probably one or two more. Um, but yeah, it just looks like this. And I know, like, my wings are way too big. Like, I never make them this big. These are probably the one of the worst wings I've ever done. But I just, I don't know. I just couldn't get it right today. And I needed to get this done so I could relax and stuff. So, yeah, sorry if they're, like, a little bit thick and uneven. Again, I apologize. I, have, I keep on... I, I'm sorry, I forget what her name is. Oh, I forget, but she always tells me of how I always say sorry and I'm trying to stop so she don't, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying sorry, but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I can't wait to film. I, besides the wing eyeliner turning out pretty big and my lipstick kind of looking messed up, I think this turned out really good, so this makes me excited for the other tutorials, and I'll probably be wearing the same lipstick in all the tutorials, just because it's like the perfect pink for Valentine's Day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. First, I'm starting off with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, and the first color I am starting off with is Burnt Orange, and I'm just putting that in my crease for a, um... Uh, transition shade. I feel like I use this shade a lot as a transition shade in my tutorials. I don't know though. Use the modern Ren. I feel like I've used the modern Renaissance palettes a lot. So I'm just blending that all in and making sure it my crease is defined. I'm so happy I figured out how to do music on here and I found this free music download website and I hope this works for YouTube and it won't be like copyrighted or anything. I don't think it should because it's in instrumental, but I mean all rights go to the people who made this music. And I just keep on blending it and the two brushes I use for the crease work is the E40, Sigma E40, and then I'm taking my MAC 224 to blend it out. I like the E40, even though it's a blending brush, I like it just for applying the crease color because it's smaller. And then I like the MAC one more so for blending because it's just bigger and fluffier. But I mean, it's whatever you guys prefer. And I just keep on blending that nicely in my crease. Then I take the color, um, what is it? If I could open my palette, that'd be great. Ah, oh. uh, sorry, I made that noise. It's Bon Fresco. I knew I was right, but I just wanted to make sure that I was right. And I'm kind of making a halo effect. I put it on the outer half of my outer V, and then I put it in the inner half, and then just kind of blend it all together so it's like even. I just loved how this looked. And once again, I'm using the Sigma E40 and then blending everything out with the MAC 224.
And then I'm going back and I think I added a little bit of burnt orange so you could still see the orange. And then I take the brush that came in with the Anastasia palette with the palette and it, I'm taking the color Antique Bronze. It's just this nice brown, bronzy, brownish, pinkish bronze color. It's really pretty and I love it. And I'm also putting that where I put Bon Frisco or Fresco. Putting that on the outer and inner just to deepen it up a little bit. I'm doing a couple looks because I figured not everybody likes the same color scheme. Like, not everybody would want a lavender brownish, like, something as dramatic as this. Like, even though all my um, Valentine's Day looks will be dramatic, but I know people like different things and different colors. And not all colors work on different skin types, certain skin types. Um, then I take Vermeer and just putting that in the center. I don't put it all over my lid because I don't want to take away from the pearl, uh, purplish brownish that's already on the inner part of my, and outer part of my lid. But I know certain colors don't look good on everybody. So I wanted to do a couple tutorials so it's more versatile. My next tutorial, Valentine's Day tutorial, will be with the Naked 2 palette because that's more deeper, darker, goldish tones. Um, so I'm trying to make these very versatile. So I'm, I know for sure I'm probably going to do like a very crazy Valentine's Day tutorial using pink because um, I know there's those people that want to be festive and want to do pink, all pink. Next, moving on to foundation, I already did. My eye, I mean, I did my wing eyeliner off camera because it's just too hard. It's a little thicker than I usually do, and um, it's kind of uneven, but you know, it's okay. Um, by the way, I already, just so you guys know, I already primed my face, primed my eyes, put up paint, a paint pot, and did my brows before I filmed this tutorial, so that's why you didn't see me putting on foundation primer or eyeshadow primer or brows. It was all done before. The videos save time and brows are just too hard to do to film because it's like a lot. And I know this color does not really match me and it doesn't really match my neck, but the reason why I didn't put down my neck because I was gonna take it right off the tutorial anyway because to be honest I don't feel like doing anything else today and I feel like being lazy. But I think I it looked pretty good. Like um I was trying to see I went down, I went slower because I was trying to see if I ha would have to put it down my neck, but then I was like, eh, this actually kind of passes, it kind of matches my neck. Um, yeah, I just didn't feel like blending it. And I know all my foundations are just too pale for me. I actually found one at Sephora, and I'm literally in shade. 0.5 for the Urban Decay Naked Skin because I was spending my gift card yesterday and I was like, well, I need more foundation that match, that will match my skin tone. And I looked and I want, I definitely want the Urban Decay since it's lighter coverage, but I also want something like the for Makeup Forever HD that's more a little bit like heavier coverage. Even though I don't need it, I just wanted one light coverage and one heavy coverage. Um, and the Makeup Forever HD, I didn't test, but I'm literally 0.5 in the Urban Decay. Then I take my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer. I honestly need to get more concealer. I need, I have like a whole concealer list that I want to try. I want to try the Shape Tape because everybody raves about it. I want to try the Naked Skin Concealer because everybody likes that. I want to try the NARS one. I want to try the Too Faced one. So, Born This Way and the NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer. Then I'm taking my um, Kat Von D contour palette and I'm putting Lucid Chest right in up my eyes. Or is it? I can't remember read these right. Levitation, I think. I don't know. But I put it on my under eyes, my chin, and my forehead just to brighten up my face a little bit. Then I contour with Sombre, I think it is, and Shadow Play. 
I mixed those together and make the perfect contour. This contour was a little bit too dark and orangey for me, but it's okay, guys. I like deep contours. If it's a little orangey, it's okay. But at least it doesn't. At least this contour didn't look as muddy as all the other contours that I do. Like this one didn't turn out too muddy, surprisingly. It actually looked like somewhat of a good contour. And I know, I forgot to do it on my jawline. I kind of forgot to do that and blend it on my neck, but it's okay. We all make mistakes here. And then this is actually a really good br uh, brush to con for contouring. I love it. I want to get more brushes for contouring just to see the different shapes and what works best for me, but I really like this. I like this better than the MAC one because the MAC angled brush white angle brush, I think it's a 168 or whatever, I feel like um, is not as um, dense and stiff. But I um, then I blended the contour out with the uh, Samantha, or Real Techniques blush brush, I mean. Um, and then I highlight with, you guessed it, Champagne Pop. I just, uh, I was going to do an Anastasia Glow Kit again, but I was like, you know what, I do Anastasia Glow Kit in almost all my tutorials. I think I need to change it up. I should have done soft and gentle, or like, um, whatchamacallit, um, like skipade. And then I do my mascara routine, you guys know, um, the MAC, first it's the MAC, then I play lash, then I take and put that on the top and bottom, then I do the Too Faced put on the top and bottom, then I do the MAC, um, Extra Dimension 3D Lash, or whatever it's actually called. Put that on top and bottom. Then I do the Maybelline, the Rocket. Put that on top and bottom. Sometimes I just do tops, which I think I just did on the top today. And then I take the Comp Crusher, put that on the top too. Oh, I didn't highlight with Jaclyn Hill. Oh, you know what I did? I put on Day Team Blush, that's what I was doing, and then I did the highlight for Jacqueline. So I did put on Day Team Blush by MAC, and then I did um, Champagne Pop for a highlight. I was wondering why I didn't look glowy yet. I was like, wait. So for my blush, I used Day Tea, and then, um, yeah, and then I took the Maybelline lipstick in um, Fuchsia Flash. It's um, the new Vivids, I don't know, um, it's like the Vivid line, but yeah, that is the look, and I hope you guys like it, um, I was just fixing up my lipstick, so yeah, once again, the blush was dainty, and the highlight was shaped and pop. thanks guys! So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, yeah. I really like how it turned out. Like I said, the wings could be a little smaller and more even because they're uneven and again. And the lipstick kind of looks messed up. But other than that, I love how this turned out. And I can't wait to do my one or two other tutorials because I'm excited. And I'll probably use the same lipstick, like I said, at the beginning, like in my intro. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Thank you for subscribing. I am now at 40, which is crazy, even though that might not seem a lot to other people, but for me, that's like a big deal because I never expected to even get that higher than 40, I mean higher than 20, but um, let's just keep my YouTube channel growing. Please let, get my channel out, and please like, comment, subscribe, and this probably, I probably wear this on Valentine's Day, or I don't know, we'll judge. If I will judge on my on all my other looks that I'm gonna do, which one I'm gonna wear on Valentine's Day, but so far I'm really liking this, so I'll probably wear it on Valentine's Day. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also need to work on looking at the lens. I always look right here in the viewfinder when I'm supposed to be looking at the lens, so I need to practice that. But I'm always like worried that this is gonna stop automatically, so that's why I look here instead of there. But anyway. Um, enough of me blabbering. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to give me a shout out, give me a shout out. That'd be great. Um, or, yeah, I don't know, get my YouTube channel out so I could have more subscribers and meet more people and 
show you guys the world of makeup. I know I'm not professional, but I don't know. I really am starting to get good at it. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.